Uh, my name is JP Vertanian. I'm one of the College of Business Student Ambassadors, and I'm today with my two co-hosts, Adrian Gea and Gianna. If you guys want to say hi. Hi, guys. I'm Gianna. Hi, everyone. My name is Adrian. I'm majoring in Integrated Business, and I'm also ambassador for a year. Amazing, amazing. So with that being said, we should go to the overview so you guys know what's going on in this panel. I'm going to talk a little bit about the College of Business RSOs, the number of RSOs and different types. Then you're going to get to know all the RSOs present in this panel, Alpha, AMA, Beta, Alpha, Psi, Delta, Sigma, Pi, Naba, Pegasus Group, and Sherm. Then I have three questions for the RSOs to answer in a popcorn format. If you don't know what a popcorn format is, one going each time. So Alpha, AMA, Beta, Alpha, Psi, Delta, Sigma, Pi, and so on and so forth. And then I'm going to open for a Q&A section in the end. Please feel free to drop your questions during the presentation as well. I'm sure they can answer it during the presentation. Uh, with that being said, the College of Business has 26 registered student organizations. So if you didn't know what RSO stands for, it's registered student organizations. They range from accounting to economics, finance, marketing, and management, sports business. So basically all the majors that we have in the college and minors. With that in mind, I want to start. Uh, William from Alpha, if you wanna go ahead. Hey, thank you, JP. So as JP said, my name is William. I am currently the president of Alpha UCF. Alpha stands for the Association of Latino Professionals for America. Uh, some quick highlights of some things up on the screen. We do have weekly chapter meetings, but well, well beyond that, we kind of cover a little bit of everything. So those weekly chapter meetings happen with our corporate partners. Uh, we have info sessions, workshops, socials, fundraisers, we have office hours with board members. So myself and nine other uh, board members are constantly having office hours, helping you guys identify uh, companies, industries that you wanna go into where you wanna work or maybe intern in the future. Uh, we also have a great mentorship program where if uh, even if you're young or just inexperienced, we, we pair you with someone who's been there, done that, kind of guides you through that process. Uh, dues up on the screen, we have $90 for an annual membership, 55 for a semester. Uh, and the QR code in the bottom right is going to lead you to our website. So uh, obviously I'm running through this quickly, but if you want more information, definitely visit our website. I'll drop the links in there at the end uh, in the chat if uh, you, you're on your phone right now and aren't able to scan that QR code. Uh, but JP, if you can go to the next screen, please. Yes, of course. All right, so just a couple of quick highlights of, of Alpha. So we've been around since 2007 at UCF. Uh, but we are a part of a larger national organization that is at 160 college campuses across the country. Uh, in 2019, we were selected the chapter of the year out of all 160 chapters. So a very, very proud accomplishment of ours. Uh, at the bottom of the screen, we have some of the, our, our corporate partners. So these are some of the companies you can expect to come out to our meetings to speak to us about professional development topics, as well as opportunities at their company. Uh, and just, of course, a few pictures. Uh, obviously, when we're in person, we can have some of these great events together. Uh, but on the right, you can kind of see what a, a Zoom meeting might look like uh, this semester. We are operating 100% virtually this semester just because we are a bit of a larger club, which we'll talk about later. Um, but in the fall, we're really hoping that we can get back to in person. I'll be graduated at that point, so I'll miss out on that. Uh, but hopefully we can get back together uh, and provide some of that alfamilia spirit that we're known for. Uh, and with that, JP, I, I'll pass it on to, uh, I believe. Uh, I actually, I want to ask on one question on that. Oh, sure. Yeah. Just a person for Alpha. So what are the requirements to become a member of Alpha? Yeah, of course. So our requirements to be a member are just to pay dues. Uh, we fully understand that students are really busy, whether it's with uh, schoolwork, uh, whether it's with uh work where you're trying to you know make money at your job or an internship or something we understand that life is busy so we just require payment of dues and then we're here for you however you deem necessary you want to attend every single meeting we highly recommend it of course we think involvement's fantastic but we understand that things happen so really beyond dues you're a member of alpha uh, and from there we just help you however we can thank you will and also if you want to post the zoom link if you already have it on the group uh, in the chat feel free to do so uh, now let's move to the next RSO, the American Marketing Association, famous AMA. Paula, if you want to go ahead. Sure. So hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Paula. I'm the VP of Marketing for AMA at UCF. Um, as you can see on the screen, we have events about twice a week, Tuesday and Thursday nights are when we like to hold events, and those events consist of all kinds of things. Um, so we do have lots of guest speakers, um, and for those events, you can come and get some GEB points. Um, those guest speakers tend to be either um, companies that we're partnering with or alumni. Um, we do have strong connections both places. Um, we also host lots of workshops, um, anything professional development, you can find it with AMA. 
Um, we also have general meetings, um, both where you can kind of get an inside look at what the executive board is working on and also just general meetings to get to know all of the other members. And then we also have lots of social events. Um, the way that we're doing that this semester is virtually and um, just kind of like an inside thing. We like to do a lot of Jackbox games, just things that keep it fun, keep it casual and uh, keep it interactive so that we can all still be a tight knit community. Um, so we are called AMA, the American Marketing Association, but we do have um, a lot of other majors in our club. So um, it doesn't really matter what major you are, we have something to offer for you. Uh, we do primarily have marketing majors and IB majors, but um, we really think that we offer skills for everyone. Uh, so you can see our dues are listed as well. So right now, um, the dues that need to be paid to you in order to become a member are just to AMA National, AMA UCF, and then AMA Orlando. Um, and then, so you can find those all at our website listed, amaucf.com. Um, so the total there, it would be shown. And then the best way to keep in touch with us is through AMA UCF's um, Instagram. Um, so you can find all of our updates there, meeting times, um, meeting the board, anything you need to know, you can find it there. Okay, so um, here are some, you know, quick photos that we wanted to put up from AMA. Um, so on the bottom left and the top right, you can see that those are some of our Zoom meetings. Those are uh, a few members of our executive board. So, you know, we're still trying to stay together this semester online. And then hopefully when we can get back on campus, you'll see more of like the top left and the bottom right, um, us meeting with corporate partners, having more events and really taking advantage of what it is that we do. Thank you, Paula. And I have a question for AMA. You know, as students, sometimes they, are, they see it. We know being in a leadership position, how it can help us to develop ourselves. So can you talk, can you tell us how, uh, how can one become a member of the AMA board? Yes. So uh, I personally think that becoming an AMA board member is one of the most like gratifying parts of being part of the AMA, um, not just a general board member, but becoming an e-board member. Um, I think it's gotten me super involved and it's also had me, you know, develop a lot of skills that are super concrete and that I can put on my resume. And it's given me lots of experience, you know, within the college of business, within the club itself, with AMA national. Um, I think it really makes me stand out and it's actually a very, you know, welcoming process throughout the rest of AMA. So if anyone were ever interested as a general board member and moving up to an e-board member position, it's very doable and very gratifying. Thank you, Paula. And I asked I told William to do so. We can also drop AMA's link on the chat so people can take a look at it and then probably hopefully register for your guys' event. With that being said, let's move on to the next RSO, Beth Alpha Psi, Marielle. Hi, everyone. My name is Mariel Torres. I am the president of Beta Alpha Psi this semester. Um, so Beta Alpha Psi is an honorary accounting organization open to accounting, finance, and information systems majors. Uh, we primarily do have accounting majors in our RSO, but uh, you are we are open to finance majors. Um, so we do have our Wednesday workshops and our Thursday meetings. These are all held over Zoom this semester. Um, the Wednesday workshops, we bring in our, our firms, uh, public accounting firms, even private industry accounting. Um, they get the, you get the chance to talk to them, learn some soft skills from them. And then our meetings are uh, kind of an extension of that, but they do have a networking social afterwards. So you get some private one-on-one -on -one time uh, to speak to the recruiters or the associates. Um, so it's, it's a really fun experience in those workshops and meetings. Um, you can see listed here, the candidate membership is $95 and it is $50 for members. Uh, below, that's our website, BAPUCF.com. If you go to that website, you'll find all of the information you need to join um, under the resources tab. There's also a page where you can meet some of the officers, see our, uh, our little bios and everything. Um, so yeah. And so here we have some pictures. The top left, that is one of our big social events of the semester. Um, it's called Candidate Day. So we usually go out to um, Lake Claire and have like a big picnic and play games outside and you get to kind of meet your assigned mentor for the semester. It's really fun. Um, below that picture, that's some of the service activities that we do. So 
you know, in addition to our professional events, we also have service events that we do in VAP. And so right there, that was an event we did with EY, it was Second Harvest. So that was really cool. The middle picture is a picture of our normal trifold that we're usually tabling with um, in the atrium. And then the top right picture, that's actually our board uh, from a couple semesters ago. They were at our nationals, I believe that was, I think it was Kentucky, but I'm not sure, but we do get to travel for our big nationals presentation. It's really fun. And then just another picture on the bottom, um, some more board members in the uh, atrium. Thank you, Marielle. Uh, and one of the questions that I have for BAP is, how do you know if I, you're eligible to join BAP? Yes, so some of the eligibility requirements to join BAP. We do require that you are currently taking Intermediate Accounting 1 or have passed it with a B or better. Um, if you're in Intermediate Accounting 1, we do offer a grade verification form that you'll submit at the end of the semester, um, indicating that you are on track to earn a B or better signed by your professor. Um, so that's probably the biggest thing is the biggest milestone is to get into Intermediate Accounting 1 and pass it with a B or better. Thank you, Marielle. Uh, if you also want to drop the link for you guys soon yes. in the chat, that'd be nice. Uh, next, we have Delta Sigma Pi, Savannah. Um, well, hello, everyone. I'm Savannah. I'm currently the chapter president of Delta Sigma Pi and super happy to be here to tell you guys a bit more about our organization. Um, so Delta Sigma Pi is a professional co-ed business fraternity. Um, we were founded um, here, right here in the UCF area in 1907. So long, long standing history with the university. So how to become a part of Delta Sigma Pi. So unlike other RSOs, we require um, an extensive pledging process um, before being admitted into our organization. So what that entails is four weeks of one, a recruitment academy in which you develop soft skills such as, you know, learning how to effectively construct a resume, learning how to perform well in interviews. Um, and you, we even have, you know, professional speaking opportunities such as Toastmasters presentations. So those four weeks are essentially, you know, established to help you develop yourself professionally. And then those last four weeks, we really, you know, first you on fraternal history, um, just rules and regulations in place with our fraternity. So super fun stuff. Um, and on my slide, you'll see that we're currently in recruitment right now this week. And we're also doing recruitment next week. Um, today, we have a recruitment event tonight from 6 to 8 with Amazon. They're going to be talking about both internship opportunities and full-time opportunities. So really, really great um, professional event to come to if you are looking for those things. And also, it gives you some time after the event to network with brothers, get to know them, and really, you know, show us yourself and show us your personality and who you are. And if you want to get a bit more information and just stay updated with us, definitely recommend following our Instagram, DSP UCF, as listed below. Um, and we even have our website where we share a ton of information as well, UCFDeltaSeg.com. Thank you. Next one we'll on to that slide. So this is our next slide. And feel free to take a photo if you want. Um, but those two top photos I have on the left are photos of our recruitment schedule. Um, as you'll see, we've already started recruitment events, but don't let that discourage you. Um, we still have a whole ton planned. Um, this upcoming Saturday, we even have one socially distanced in-person event at Lake Clare, um, and it's going to be a brotherhood barbecue just without the food. Um, you know, COVID and all that, we just want to be as safe as possible, um, but we are requiring masks, and you can feel free to sign up in the link in our bio on our Instagram, like I mentioned in the slide before. Um, and these last few photos are just pictures of our brothers, um, some who've graduated, some who are, you know, involved in other organizations on campus um, and other sporting teams such as Knights Moves. That's one of our brothers, Gabby. Um, and on the right, you'll see a few more of our brothers as well, um, just with the senior graduating, that's actually their pledge educator. Um, and you'll find that in our organization, something that we really pride ourselves on is just having that sense of community. Um, a lot of us come into our organization looking for professional development, but ultimately you do find those lifelong friends. Savannah, that's awesome. And one question that I have for Delta Sigma Pi, a question that I always said about every fraternity is, how's the experience of pl the pr pledging process for in the organization? Um, I would say that the process is long, but definitely rewarding. So what I mean by that is it's long in the sense that it is eight weeks and it does take a commitment, you know, 
But at the end, you get so much out of it that that time just seems meaningless, you know? It just seems like it goes by so fast and you get so close to the people that you're pledging with. Um, and these are people that you may even go on to take trips out of country with, you know, plenty of, you know, pledge classes in our organization have taken trips to Colorado all over the world to lead conferences. So, you know, it's definitely an experience that you won't forget in undergrad. Awesome. Thank you, Savannah. Next, moving on to the National Association of Black Accountants, uh, Michael. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Michael Sterling. I'm the president of NABA. I'm a third year accounting student at the University of Central Florida, and I'm here to talk about, about my club. Um, lifting as we climb, as you can tell, as you can see, we are, a, um, that's a motto we do go by and we live by um, in our club. We, um, we like to exemplify that in everything that we do by helping our members get to where they need to go and and showing our members that that they can do whatever they put their mind to. Um, our weekends, our, our meetings are held every two weeks or bi-weekly. Um, this is where we talk to firms, um, network, um, socialize, um, fundraise, all these cool events that we do um, before uh, before every meeting. Um, our dues, although we although we don't have dues right now. You can go on the NABA website and pay for the thirty-five dollar dues, which um, which is what which gives you like NABA um, membership that allows you to go to different types of meetings and clubs and stuff like that. Um, so for right now, because of COVID and what's going on, we're not charging any dues, and so we get more of a personable and intimate relationship with these firms and companies that do come out and and try to talk to us. Um, the UCF campus lab NAB, at NABA is where you can find our website. If you just look that up, you can find our website and request to join the club and you will get our newsletters, our, our flyers on things that um, are coming up and things that are upcoming in our club. And our Instagram that NABA UCF is down below for those who um, would like to keep in contact with us um, outside of school. Uh, so as you can see here, there's just a few pictures of our um, of our e-board to the right um, during a fundraiser event that they had a few years back. Uh, the bottom right below is a typical meeting, how a typical meeting would look if there wasn't any, um, if there was in-person meetings. Um, it would start with refreshments, then meeting the employers, and then having some feedback and talking to our members before we close the meeting. And to the bottom left is the NABA student conference, which opens up every fall of every semester, every fall of every year. Um, this is where um, NABA hosts um, a student conference where a bunch of firms come out and talk to you and, and, and try to uh, land, give you job opportunities and stuff like that. So definitely something you would want to take advantage of and it's free for all NABA members. So if you do, from the side before, if you do go and pay the $35 fee, it's free for you. So definitely something to look forward to in the upcoming months. Thank you, Michael. I have a question for Naba, and it's, I think, a question that other people have in the chat and that were watching this panel. It's, do you have to be a part of a minority group to join Naba to be able to join Naba? Um, no, you do not have to be part of a minority group. All we all we require for you is to be either accounting major, a finance major, or any business related majors. Um, that's all that we require and that you pay dues. Other than that, anybody can join NABA. Thank you, Michael. Uh, feel free to drop any links that you have in the chat so people can access those links. Moving on, we have the Pegasus group, Luke. Um, I wanted to say thank you guys for coming out. It re really does mean a lot that you guys took time out of your day to come look at some of the organizations here at UCF. But my name is Luke, and I'm here representing the Pegasus Group. The Pegasus Group, our main goal in the Pegasus Group is to teach our members some of the technical skills necessary to do good in investment banking, asset management, private equity, and consulting. So if you don't know what high finance is, you want to think more of like Charles Schwab, Goldman Sachs, some of those companies. Um, we have weekly meetings every Thursday at six o'clock. 
we did lower our um, membership fee a little bit this year because of COVID. So for the semester membership, it's $25, but if you wanna go ahead and get the year long membership, it's $40, it's that $5 discount. So I would highly recommend you get the $40 membership, especially with what we can provide as a club. If you wanna know a little bit more about us, I would go ahead and check out our um, website, which is pgucf.org, or go ahead and go to our Instagram handle at Pegasus Group UCF. Next slide. So the Pegasus Group is divided into two main sections. We have the high finance section, which is Pegasus Group Capital, and then we have the other side, which is Pegasus Group Consulting. So within the Pegasus Group Capital, which is more geared towards the high finance, we have everything from resume critiques to interviews to um, you're doing stock analysis. We have quite a few competitions. We're part of Point72 and the CFA Research Challenge, which are two national competitions that we're a part of. What you're gonna find, unfortunately, within high finance is that the majority of companies that are hiring for high finance typically go more the Ivy route and look for people from like Harvard and Yale and some places like that. So you're just not really going to get the skills at UCF through your regular coursework to perform well and land a job within high finance from UCF. So that's where we come in and we try to teach you some of the skills that are necessary to perform well in those jobs. And then whenever you jump over to the consulting side, we have a lot of competitions that we can put you in. You meet a lot of like-minded people. Um, we have some exclusive case studies that we can give you. And then we also have quite a few organizations come out to talk to you about what they do through a normal day. It's really interesting and it helped me decide whether I wanted to do high finance or consulting. And so if anything there does interest you, I would highly recommend you guys scan the QR code right there. Our kickoff meeting is January 28th at six o'clock. And so I really look forward to seeing some of you guys there. Thank you, Luke. A question that I have for you, and I imagine other students also have, is what is high finance? If you can give us a brief intro on what high finance is, that would be nice. Yeah, so high finance is whenever you think of like asset management, investment banking, private equity, um, it's more along those lines. Typically, most people think of, whenever they think of finance, they think of regular corporate finance. High finance isn't as like cookie cutter it's a little more abstract you're thinking more on your feet more so i personally enjoy high finance more than corporate finance thank you luke no problem now let's move on to the society for human resources and management sherm valerie thank you jp and thank you everyone for being here my name is valerie and i'm the vice president of sherm the society for human resource management we promote human resource education, networking, and leadership opportunities for all majors, not just management majors. We will meet every Wednesday at 6 p.m. beginning on February 3rd, and our dues are $10 for the semester. Our website is listed on the slide and can also be accessed by scanning that QR code, and our Instagram is listed on the slide as well. I highly recommend you check out our website and follow our Instagram for up-to-date posts on meetings and more and our Zoom link will also be posted on there. Again, our kickoff meeting will be February 3rd. These pictures are from last year's in-person meetings, of course, but now virtually, we still host guest speakers and workshops. Our guest speakers are primarily human resource professionals who share their human resource journey, uh, provide advice on what actions we can start taking right now as students, and they give insight into the SHRM certification and its benefits. Um, the workshops we host can cover anything from mock interviews to resume reviews. Thank you, Valerie. We also, oh, sorry. That's okay. We also um, do have an annual case study competition and that is an all expenses paid trip. It's super fun and we have been first place two years in a row now. Thank you. A uh, question that I have for sure, when you're talking about management, uh, it comes to my leadership. So can you tell us how often do leadership positions become available at SHRM? Of course, uh, becoming a member of SHRM leadership has definitely taken me 
really far. And I highly recommend that anyone interested in SHRM or human resources get involved. It typically depends on how soon current leadership is graduating. But for example, this semester, we do have a lot of graduating officers. So many positions will be opening for next school year, the 2021-2022 school year. Thank you. Now we move on to the second part of this panel, the panel, the panel questions. We have three questions that each RSO is going to respond. The first question is, what are the benefits and resources for members? And I want you to start with Alpha. Yeah, of course. So as I was starting to get into a little bit earlier, there are many benefits and resources. And, and honestly, every single direction you turn within Alpha, there's going to be someone or something there to help you. Um, so as I was saying before, we do host weekly workshops. Uh, so those are going to be either corporate led from one of our partners or from a student or maybe even another club on campus. Uh, we actually partnered with the Python club last semester to learn a bit more about computer programming. So things of that nature, we're gonna help you with your Excel skills, um, other platforms such as maybe Tableau, which is kind of a data visualization platform. There's all these different things that you're going to be exposed to in the corporate world. No, you may not uh, actually be using those things, but it's really great to know about them and to become a more well-rounded professional. Uh, we also have office hours, something I mentioned. So every single board member is available for at least an hour every single week. We're also available a lot more outside that specific hour. Uh, but that's just a time where we're gonna help you with your resumes. We're gonna give you a mock interview or we're gonna critique your LinkedIn. Uh, it's really important that you have those three things ready before you go into the interview process, before you start applying to a company. That way you stand out from the crowd. Uh, we are very proud of uh, how we set up our, our members for success when it comes to the interview uh, and application process. Um, so those are just a couple of things. Uh, but one last thing I'd like to highlight is the, the mentorship program again. Uh, our, uh, our members have had massive success within the mentorship program. Uh, you, you have people come in who really don't know what's going on, don't know left from right when it comes to this application process, because it's overwhelming. Uh, there's a lot of moving pieces, a lot of different companies, a lot of positions out there. How do you identify what's best for you? That mentorship program is really going to help you with that. Uh, it helped me a lot in my first semester in Alpha. I'm not going to say the mentorship program is going to make you president of a club at UCF, but uh, definitely a possibility. Uh, and just a couple of things I wanted to highlight uh, as part of this question. Thank you, Will. Next, AMA. Okay, so um, definitely one of our biggest benefits um, and resources for our members is that we um, have a very close-knit relationship with all of our members, and the way that we communicate most is through our member group me. So all of our paying members get to be a part of that uh, chat, and we keep it very active, and so we just like to connect with everyone in that chat, um, especially because now that's our main way to communicate um, as frequently as we want. Um, and we really like to keep each other in the know about internship opportunities. So we just rolled this out, I want to say last semester during the summertime. And ever since then, um, the chat has been full of, you know, people um, taking screenshots of their LinkedIn and things that come up and letting each other know about internship opportunities. Or sometimes they'll give us a little update in the chat and say, hey, I landed this internship because of AMA. So um, we just like to keep that uh, relationship alive with everyone. Um, another thing that we are implementing actually this semester is our member and alumni exclusive LinkedIn group. So um, if you are a paying member soon enough, you would be able to join our LinkedIn group that we have, um, which features a lot of our um, alumni that were members in their time here at UCF, and they also post any positions that they have open and let us know if they're looking for anyone from AMA to recruit for um, internship or full-time positions post-grad. Um, AMA also has a mentorship program that we've been doing for a couple semesters now. Um, it's a really great program. Um, you can either choose to meet with your mentor at a scheduled time um, to keep that relationship you know, pretty regimented, or they can also be available to you whenever and you get to develop that close relationship with them where you can talk to them at any time and reach out if you need resume help, um, interview help, um, anything like that, they're here for you. 
Um, and then some of the more concrete skills that we like to share with all of our members is a lot of workshops. Um, for example, coming up this semester, we have a lot of um, digital design stuff going on with Canva. So if you're ever interested in that, um, we do have workshops for that. Uh, we also critique resumes and LinkedIn's, um, and we like to do little workshops on how to improve those. And we're also having an elevator pitch competition and workshop coming up um, I believe later this month. Um, so that's also something to look out for. Um, that really comes in to play when we compete at virtual conferences. So last semester with a lot of the conferences that usually happen for AMA chapters, um, all of that stuff got moved online. And now um, a lot of those virtual conferences, uh, they don't charge anymore. So we are just invited and we can go and we can compete and we can get some recognition for AMA UCF and even win some prizes. Thank you, Paula. Next, Beth of Asai. Yeah, so I, some of the biggest benefits and resources for members of BAP, first and foremost, we help facilitate that transition from student to professional. I know that sometimes students in college, you become overwhelmed, you're like, how do I, you know, apply everything that I've learned in my textbooks and being a student to being, you know, a professional in the business world. And so we definitely provide you with the knowledge and the skills to uh, help make that transition easier. We also provide opportunities for you to network with your peers, your professors, and the accounting firms and private companies. So I think the biggest thing is we do bring out the big four. And if you're not familiar with the big four, and if you're an accounting major, no worries, just join us and we'll teach you all about the big four. We even bring in uh, private companies like Disney, Siemens. Um, so you do get an opportunity to meet with those recruiters, talk to them, and they do recruit right out of BAP because they, they love to see that you're involved um, you know, in something beyond just your schoolwork. So that's, that's a huge benefit, I think, of uh, BAP. Furthermore, it's just the soft skill development. So, you know, the recruiting skills, the interviewing skills, resume critiques, we help you with all of that. We provide resources for all of that. Um, one way we do that is we do assign you a BAP officer mentor. So we have this big event called Candidate Day. You get to meet the whole board of officers and then you get to choose your mentor for the semester based off of your uh, similar interests and things like that. And then that mentor will help guide you throughout the whole semester with your you know, course planning, with planning out your points for our club. And then they'll even help you fix your resume for, you know, we have a big event called Meet the Firm. So we get you, you know, ready for that. And so then, and then overall, uh, you just get to learn more about the opportunities in the accounting field. I know a lot of students come into college, they know that they want to do business and they finally decide on accounting, um, but they don't know too much about the accounting field. So we equip you with that knowledge to, to, you know, to be successful in the accounting field. And what does it mean to get your CPA license, different things like that. One thing I did also want to add in there is as a member of Beta Alpha Psi at the national level, you actually get to uh, have an opportunity for discounts for CPA study material. So, you know, when you're done with your 150 credit hours, you get to have a nice little discount on your study materials when you're studying for the CPA exam. Thank you, Mario. Next, we have Delta Sigma Pi. Okay, so some of the benefits that we offer or benefits and resources that we offer for our members, I would put them in two categories. So first a professional category and then a personal one. So I guess I'll start off with the personal one. So on, on the personal side of the benefits and resources, um, we really give you the opportunity to interact with brothers, you know, through various social activities. Even online, we're still finding ways for our brothers to interact whether that's through game nights, you know, Netflix watch parties, Among Us events, um, any way that we can just unite our brothers, we're doing our best that we can to do that. Um, and we even offer, you know, weekly buddy pairings to allow our new members to really get to know the older brothers so that we continue to, you know, just create and strengthen those bonds as time goes on, even in the midst of a global pandemic. Um, and also in addition to, you know, that brotherhood type of aspect, we give you personal opportunities to just give back to the community. Um, service is a huge pillar of ours and something that we really strive for. Our national philanthropy is actually Ronald McDonald House. And currently we're trying to collect as many pop tabs as we can just to donate um, and do anything that we can to go towards that organization, right? 
So both, you know, that brotherhood, that community side, um, and then we have that professional side. And, you know, I feel like a lot of people in this call, you know, kind of touched on that professional side as well. Um, so like many of you guys, you know, we do bring out speakers to our chapter, whether it's from Siemens, whether that's Lockheed, you know, whether that's PNG, we do everything we can to just bring out recruiters to our chapter because we have people of all majors in our chapter. And so we bring out people who can provide internship opportunities and even full-time opportunities for our brothers. Um, and we really do our best, I would say, in preparing our brothers for success when they do get to, you know, that interview stage. So all those steps leading up, you know, working on your application, you know, working on your cover letter, you know, really aiming those towards a specific position and not just having a general resume that you send out to a billion employers. You know, we do everything that we can to really just set you up for success, get you a great internship. Um, so post-grad, you know, you're just sitting pretty with a nice job. You know, we have a really extensive alumni network all across the nation, working at all sorts of companies like Goldman, Charles Schwab, you know, Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, you know, really, really big Fortune 500 companies. Um, in addition to that, we also do have a mentorship program as well. Um, so the moment that you do enter our fraternity, you're assigned a big. That big essentially, you know, molds you into the business professional that you are when you enter our brotherhood um, and really helps develop you both personally and professionally. This is someone you lean on for professional advice as well as personal advice even. Um, and those relationships are, you know, pretty close typically. So that's essentially like someone that you can call your friend at the end of the day. Um, and lastly, I just want to touch on the fact that we also do lead conferences. So lead conferences are conferences um, that are, you know, focused on versing our chapter members, you know, just in the bylaws, rules and regulations um, of our national fraternity and even inform them about changes that are occurring. And this really gives you the chance to network with brothers all across the nation. The, our last in-person lead was in Jacksonville. And we saw brothers, you know, from South Florida, North Florida, Georgia, you know, all the way across the country. It was just such a great time to just network. Um, you know, as business students, we love doing that. Um, and we never stop doing that, it seems like. So lots of great opportunities and resources. Um, so I definitely recommend coming out. Thank you, Savannah. Next, Michael, oh, Naba, please. Um, some some benefits that we have here at Naba is um, and it was touched on in the panel as well. But just to add on to it, um, professionalism. You definitely learn how to be a leader. Um, networking skills, being able to um, talk to different employers, learning how to speak to employers, and how to um, um, really just get your foot into the to the door. So um, they offer scholarships every year, every semester for NABA members. So um, if you, it's a quick sign up, takes 10 minutes, you put in your resume, you put in your application and you can win up to 100, 10,000, 10, 100 to $10,000 to $100,000 on scholarships alone. Um, we have, like I said it in the previous slide, we have fall um, conferences every semester, every year to where, um, if you're a NABA member, you can get in essentially, well, because it's online now, you could get in for free. So you, we talk to major firms, private firms, um, Big Four, EY, um, PwC, uh, banks, all types of companies come and speak to um, our students. And you can get into that for free, which can help you get an internship, which can help you land a job um, in the future. So yeah. Thank you, Michael. Next, Texas Group. Yeah, so we offer a wide range of benefits and resources to our members in regards to technical and soft skills. We offer um, mock interviews. So whenever it comes to high finance and consulting, the interview process for regular jobs is hard as it is. But whenever it comes to high finance and consulting, it's a little different. Whenever it comes to high finance, you're answering a lot of technical questions where either you know it or you don't, you can't kind of just bluff your way through the question. And then whenever it comes to consulting, you're doing case studies about actual companies and you're having to problem solve those questions on the spot, having never seen it before. So you have to be able to think on your feet. So we offer that, we offer case studies, we offer the, inter the mock interviews. And on top of that, whether you're a freshman and or sophomore, if you're an undergrad, or if you're one of the upperclassmen, like a junior and senior, we offer you ways to improve your resume and 
So if you're a freshman and you don't know what high finance is, or whether you're a junior or senior who knows what high finance is and just needs to land the job, we can help you do that. On top of that, we do have our alumni board. We have people at Microsoft, Lightning Partners, and even Charles Schwab and Allstate. So we can help you with those connections to land that internship. And then at that point, it's up to you to turn it into a career. But if you can land the internship, you're more than qualified to turn it into a job. Um, we also offer Wall Street Prep. Wall Street Prep is used by Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan to train their financial analyst. We get it at a really big discount. Usually it's like five or 600 bucks. So it's pretty expensive, but we have a partnership with Wall Street Prep so we can get it at a better price. So that looks really good on your resume, just having Wall Street Prep. But on top of that, you will have the technical skills from doing those courses. So whenever you go into those interviews, you know exactly what you're talking about and you're able to impress your recruiter and turn it into an internship. Thank you, Luke. And next, no problem. we have Sherm. Benefits for our members include networking with peers and professionals, leadership opportunities, and the annual all expenses paid case competition that I mentioned earlier. Um, the competition is open to all members and we certainly encourage members to become a part of the team. We also promote internship opportunities, many of which come from SHRM alumni who are specifically interested in hiring our members. And then also the workshops that we host that I mentioned earlier, the resume reviews um, and the hands-on HR workshops, they prepare you for a little bit of taste in the HR world. And then of course, the resume reviews help you land that interview and that job. Thank you, Valerie. Then second question is, what is the member turnout? I'll ask there so we should touch it briefly because of time. So first, Alpha. Yeah, so for the fall, this past fall semester, we had 210 members in Alpha. We expect this uh, number to actually increase this coming semester due to the spring semester usually being our busy time as people prepare for the summer recruitment season. Um, so we do have quite a large club. Uh, definitely has its pros and cons, as every size club uh, does, but uh, definitely fantastic to have those resources at your fingertips. There's always someone somewhere who's experienced what maybe you're going through in either the recruitment process or trying to reach out and contact a company. So it's always fantastic to have that connection within the club. Uh, and also, we have an ever-growing alumni connection just because of the size of our club. So uh, a lot of connections, a lot of people that can help, uh, and just uh, a great part of being in the Alpha Million. Thank you, Will. Second, AMA. All right, so um, member turnout uh, might have been kind of a concern that everyone had, all of the RSOs had um, when COVID happened and then in the middle of the spring semester, everything kind of went haywire. But thankfully for AMA, we've had some pretty good success, um, even barring all of the um, challenges happening in the past year. So um, we've actually had record-breaking attendance to our guest speaker events over um, last semester during the fall. Um, we've had, you know, close to 100 attendees and that normally couldn't happen in the classroom. Um, so on Zoom, we're happy to make that happen. And so that's a really awesome turnout for us. Um, and then we were also able to recruit almost um, 30 members last semester alone. So um, that just shows that AMA is growing. Thank you, Paula. Next, Beth Alphasai, Marielle. Yes, yeah, so thank you. I'll try to keep it short in the interest of time. So. Um, our membership last fall, we had over 70 candidates um, apply for that semester and we inducted about 60. So we are a pretty large organization. Um, this spring, we actually did have our orientation last night over Zoom and we had over 80 participants on the Zoom. Um, so that was that was a really good sign. We're still getting um, you know that outreach that we wanted and people are still interested in joining. Um, so yeah, we're definitely a bigger club, but fear not, we, we do have alumni uh, come back and we give you those mentors and the alumni connections. So um, we're a big club, but you definitely still get to feel like you're part of a close-knit accounting community. Thank you, Maria. Next, Delta Sigma Phi. So Delta Sigma Phi, we actually have 74 active brothers this semester. Um, it may seem like a large number, a bit intimidating, but it's actually quite smaller than you may think. Um, as I've touched on like a lot, I guess, in my presentation, a lot of our brothers are very, very close. And that's due to the volume of members that we typically have. Um, we 
even last semester, we had a little bit over 80, but due to a couple seniors graduating, we did drop a little bit in membership. Um, hoping to pick that back up with the recruiting cycle. Um, so I guess we'll see what this you know semester really brings. Thank you, Savannah. Next, Naba, Michael. Um, as of right now, Naba, we are currently, we're still growing. So we right now our membership is pretty low, so around 10 to 15 members, but we do plan on changing that sometime this semester. Um, and to start, we have our kickoff on January 29th at 6 p.m. So be be sure to come out to that and and come be a part of it. Thank you, Michael. Next, that is the group. Yeah, so we're at about 50, 52 members right now. We're specifically more niche, like we do high finance and consulting. But um, thanks to having a little bit of a smaller community and a smaller member group, we do feel more tight knit compared to some of the larger clubs here. Um, I will go ahead and say that whenever you think of high finance, you think of a bunch of people really official, like with suit and ties. We aren't like that at Pegasus Group. We're a little more informal, but we are very hardworking and we have a very active member base. Thank you, Luke. Next, Sherm. Last semester, we had about 35 total members and the meeting turnout was anywhere from 20 to 30 members. I do think it's beneficial for our organization to be on the smaller side because it gives officers and members the chance to network and develop more personal relationships with one another. And perhaps most importantly, it allows individuals to, to stand out on a more individual basis with the professionals that we invite to speak at our meetings. Thank you, Valerie. And moving on to the, our third question, what has been your biggest takeaway from your organization? And I want to start again with Alpha. Yeah, I think my biggest takeaway is just the endless possibilities uh, when you become a member of Alpha. Uh, no matter what industry, no matter what your interests are, uh, just you can kind of go any which direction you want. And we're here to support you on that journey because everyone's path is unique. Uh, everyone's goals are different. Uh, and we're here to help uh, however we can. So whether that's landing internships, whether it's making lifelong friends, uh, whether it's just expanding your network, uh, that's what we think we do best. And we're here to support you uh, however, however we can. So just growing alongside uh, my fellow members and just ultimately reaching that, that end goal that we wish to all accomplish. Awesome. Thank you, Will. Next, AMA. Okay. Um, so I can say that personally, uh, my biggest takeaway from being a part of AMA has definitely been all of the uh, professional help that I've gotten. Of course, I've gotten very close to all of my executive board members, but one thing that I can really put on paper and say that AMA helped me out with um, was actually me getting the internship that I currently have this semester. Um, I connected with one of the employers speaking at one of our guest speaker events um, during the fall. Um, I connected with her on LinkedIn. You know, I spoke to her after our uh, guest speaker event, and then she ended up reaching out to me for an interview, and I was able to talk about these concrete results that I helped AMA achieve as an executive board member and as their VP of marketing, and in the end, it ended up um, letting me land the internship, and I use those skills every day at my internship, and then I also get to maintain that um, alumni connection um, with the person that heads my internship, so um, it's very full circle benefit. Thank you, Paula. Next, we have Beth Alpha Psi. Thank you. So yes, very similar to um, what my counterparts have said earlier. Um, my biggest takeaway has probably been learning how to become a leader. Um, you know, you, I have the opportunity to be a president of a club at UCF this semester. So that's been, you know, a really big uh, growth opportunity. Um, you know, furthermore, I was even able, just like Paula, to land the internship with my dream accounting firm. Um, I, I really do owe that to BAP for preparing me for um, that interview and, and being able to land that internship. Um, the other takeaway, too, is just I've been able to grow my relationships with my peers and my professors. Um, I've, I've noticed that I've grown so close to my professors. I can go to them for advice on grad school, CPA, anything like that. So biggest takeaway would definitely be some of, the, some of those things. Thank you, Maria. Next, we have Delta, Delta Sigma Pi. So I would say that my biggest takeaway from Delta Sigma Pi has been the, extens the extensive professional skills and sense of community that I've really gained from this organization. So from the skills that I've learned through our pledging progress or process, 
I was able to utilize those skills in application processes and interviews with numerous companies such as Charles Schwab, PNC Bank, Bank of America, General Mills. Um, and in the fall semester, I was an extended an internship offer from PNC Bank at their headquarters in Pittsburgh and their capital markets group. Um, and I feel like had I not pushed myself to join an organization where I feel motivated to succeed every day um, and had learned all those professional soft skills, I really don't think that I'd be where I am today. Um, in addition to that, I've gained friendships that I would have never thought possible in college. You know, pre-COVID, a lot of the College of Business courses that I was taking were real courses, which made me just get in the habit of staying home, not really interacting with anyone throughout the day. Um, but after joining DSP, I was on campus a whole lot more. And when I walked into the College of Business, I always saw a few familiar faces. Um, and that sense of belonging has ultimately made me want to continue staying involved on campus and in our fraternity. You know, just always knowing that you have people at UCF who are here for you, who want to help you, um, and who really just want to see you succeed. Thank you, Savannah. Next, Naba. Well, my biggest takeaway from um, Naba is, is really just getting out your comfort zone. Because if you were to tell me a year or two years ago, I would be in the position where I am now, I would not have believed you in it's all to the credit of NABA. Uh, NABA has allowed me to do things that I wouldn't see attainable if I didn't if I didn't join it. And, and to really be honest, during the fall semester, I, I, I went to the conference and I was able to land a few um, internship opportunities. I was able to land an internship with KPMG for this summer. So that really came from NABA and really helping me become a better professional more and more each day. So all credit, all credit to that. Thank you, Michael. Next, Bad Business Group. Yeah, I would say the biggest takeaway I've had from my organization is that it's never too, too early to start. I joined the Pegasus Group as a freshman. And to be honest, whenever I was trying to join, they talked about high finance and consulting. To be honest, I didn't even know what high finance was. But they went ahead and took me under the wing. They taught me what high finance was. And thanks to the Pegasus Group, I was actually able to land an internship this summer. And I know without the Pegasus Group, I wouldn't have been able to get it. I'll also say that because high finance is so technical, we really provide a low stress environment for you to learn the technical skills and make mistakes without it hurting your overall prospects at getting a job. So I would just say it's never too early to start, whether you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior. Thank you, Luke. Next, Sherm. I feel that I've received a lot of takeaways from my organization, SHRM, but my biggest takeaway from SHRM has been my professional development, including learning the importance of networking, being involved, and taking on as many opportunities as possible, everything that comes your way. Um, I truly believe that my role as vice president of SHRM has taken me further than any professional experience on my resume. I'm currently a student in the UCF Lockheed Martin College Work Experience Program, which became possible through networking at the Invitational last semester. We had an invitational preparation meeting with career coach Brian Malcolm, which greatly prepared me. And we'll be having a similar meeting before this semester's Invitational, so I definitely recommend attending it. 